नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू योगीशा चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डील एंड डिस्कस अबाउट द प्राणायाम कपालपति प्राणायाम बिफोर दैट देयर इज अ रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम योर साइड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल एंड शेयर दिस चैनल विद योर रिलेटिव्स एंड फ्रेंड्स देयर आर टू कूलिंग ब्रेथ्स एंड टू हीटिंग ब्रेथ्स इन द प्राणायाम सिस्टम cooling breaths are the ones you know which will cool down your system so that is shitali and shitakari kapalapati and bhastrika they are the heating breaths so kapalapati is not coming strictly under the pranayama system it is a, one of the six uh, kriyas that is shat kriyas they are the cle- cleansing breath cleansing techniques in the uh, yoga system okay so we will just uh, learn something about uh, this pranayama before we go into the technique of the pranayama we normally give importance for the inhalation okay when whenever we do a pranayama technique we give importance only for the inhalation and we don't mind or give importance for the exhalation technique but here it is more of exhalation and not the inhalation there is an inhalation and exhalation okay so inhalation is very passive we don't mind about the inhalation but exhalation is the one which is very focused here in the uh, uh, kapalvati pranayama it rejuvenates the whole body and it is beneficial to the nervous system circulation digestive system respiratory system of the body now what is the kapala pati kapala means the skull kapala means skull we know about that pati means cleansing so gapa kapala pati means skull a cleansing technique that means it is not the skull uh, cleansing it is actually the nervous system the nervous system is going to be cleansed with this pranayama technique it is a very strong technique and normally it is not taught to the persons who are very new to the yoga system so it will take some time for them to understand what is inhalation what is exhalation only then we teach the kapalbhati technique okay so now there is how do we do see it is this way see see you see there is inhalation and exhalation but we give more importance for the exhalation so there is a forceful exhalation not from the shoulders not from the chest okay not from the neck i am not using all those places i am using only my abdomen you can see that so this is how it is done now when do we start this how do we start this now slowly now you should know about the candle blowing technique that is a easy way to understand this technique this kapalabhati otherwise normally what i have seen is commonly there is a mistake people do they use all the shoulders and chest to breathe out normally a person who does not do yoga uses only his chest and not the abdominal breathing to breathe and that is the common mistake it is the mistake of nearly 70% of the world population that is why we become tired throughout the day that is there is not much of prana in our body the prana is less the apana vayu is more so by reversing this by reversing the abdomen with the chest okay so the prana is increased in our system now where do we start this how do we understand this abdomen and chest it is li- little uh, confusing for persons who do not know about this so now you see when i am just going to blow the candle normally people do this uh, 
birthday uh, birthday party and all that okay so in that the normally people uh, blow the candle so how do we blow look at my abdomen okay now there is a small dust okay so if i have to blow this dust or if we have to blow the dust in my eyes so what do we do can you see my abdomen again so this is how we have to use our abdomen we normally use the abdomen when we do all these things but we are not aware of it we don't focus on our abdomen but we do this so this is how it is done in the kapalapati also see i'm just going to start with the kapalapati uh, candle blowing technique and go into the kapalapati now see now i'm exhaling through the mouth i'm i'm just going to exhale through the nose now see so this is how it is done in the kapalapati this is the technique of kapalapati now when you are going to start this kapalapati pranayama in the beginning as a beginner you will feel dizzy after some time so we have to start like this see take rest take rest take rest so this is how it is done we should not just keep on the increasing the pace the increasing the pace is not important at all increasing the pace is not at all important so first we have to learn the technique either we are using the abdomen or we are using the chest or we are using the shoulders so if you are going to use all the shoulders and chest and all that so you will become fatigued after some time very easily you become fatigued because you need more strength in your abdomen so for that you need to understand the abdominal breathing first unless you understand the abdominal breathing you cannot understand this kapalapati technique and you will be fatigued and one more thing what we have to understand is many people know by doing kapalapati technique your abdomen will be toned it is not correct it is the other way it is the other way first to do the kapalapati technique you should have a strong abdomen you understand what i am telling first you tone your abdomen and come to kapalapati then your kapalapati is very easy after that you keep on doing kapalapati and your your uh, abdomen will be toned that is a different thing but you cannot use the kapalapati technique for toning your abdomen so these are the basics you know which you should know before you start the kapalapati technique now who should not do a person having glaucoma okay a person having glaucoma and hiatus hernia ulcer and a pregnant lady they should not do this uh, kapalapati technique and a person who is suffering from severe cardiovascular disease cvd they should not do the kapalapati technique for them okay they have lot of other uh, restorative pranayamas so that is more than sufficient this will be a contradiction for the persons who are having this type of uh, medical conditions okay so i think i have made uh, much of given much of knowledge about uh, the kapalapati technique okay so if you have any more doubts please comments put your comments in the comment box so that you know i can uh, respond to you
thank you for watching the kapalpati technique video please share it and subscribe to this channel thank you